This question has been around for years. Who would win in a fight between a gorilla and a grizzly bear? This type of discussion taps into a deep curiosity about nature's power. The focus is on two huge animals, both much stronger than the strongest humans, even with little effort. The idea of them fighting is both amazing and fascinating. With that in mind, let's look at some of their stats and feats. Gorilla gorillas are large primates often seen as a wilder, more physical version of humans. Known for their great strength, they are among the strongest animals, almost like the mythical strength of insects. If insects were the size of humans, they could toss cars and houses. Gorillas, on the other hand, are thought to be about 4 to 20 times stronger than humans, though views vary a lot. According to the Yangwa Forest National Park, gorillas can lift about 1,800 pounds, but the 1988 Guinness World Records suggests they could handle around 2,000 pounds with training, based on what was seen with chimpanzees. Some even say they might lift up to 4,000 pounds, though this is not well documented and mostly remains a theory. A surprising story from the Guinness Book of Animal Facts and Feats tells of a gorilla in 1910 Uganda who showed his strength in a tragic way by tearing a man apart. This event is more like a horror movie scene than real life. Beyond their strength, gorillas have a powerful bite force of 1,300 pounds per square inch, which is more than double that of a lion and helps them fight off threats. Despite their power, when provoked, gorillas can become very aggressive, breaking zoo glass and causing chaos that sometimes needs police to handle. Gorillas can run at speeds up to 25 miles per hour, matching top human athletes. They usually weigh around 300 pounds and stand about 5 feet tall, though they can weigh up to 589 pounds and reach heights of 6 feet 5 inches. Grizzly Bears Grizzly bears have always been a scary presence for humans. Known scientifically as Ursus arctos horribilis, or the horrible bear, early American settlers, trappers and Native Americans saw them as unbeatable. Explorers like Lewis and Clark didn't believe the scary stories about grizzlies at first, but soon realized how real the danger was when they had only seconds to react before a bear could attack. In 1822, William H. Ashley and his trappers went into the mountains, despite being warned about how fierce and tough grizzlies were. They came back with terrifying stories. Grizzlies weren't afraid of humans, were very hard to kill, could outswim and outrun horses, and needed precise shots to the eye or behind the ear to be brought down. One bear even survived being shot 30 times. For Native Americans, killing a grizzly was considered a legendary achievement. The largest grizzlies weighed up to 1,200 pounds, with some even reaching 1,500 pounds. They can run at 35 miles per hour and possibly faster, according to trapper tales. Most grizzlies are about 4 feet tall and 8 feet long, but some, like the famous Teddy, have stood up to 10 feet tall. Their bite force ranges from 1,160 to 1,250 pounds per square inch, making them powerful predators capable of overpowering one 500-pound moose. In the 19th century, the California grizzly, weighing around 800 pounds, often fought bulls weighing up to 2,200 pounds and nearly always won. These battles also included fights against panthers. Tests by Montana State University for a documentary showed that grizzlies could easily toss a 700-pound dumpster around like a beach ball, showing their incredible strength. This made the grizzly a feared opponent, considered by many to be as dangerous, if not more so, than armed humans at the time. Gorillas have a slight edge in bite force and strength, while grizzlies are much larger and more durable. Some imagine a gorilla overpowering a grizzly with swings, but gorillas usually grapple and maul their opponents, using their powerful bite often. They seem almost programmed for it. If you could bite twice as hard as a lion, why wouldn't you? Contrary to some beliefs, Gorillas don't usually fight like humans. They fight erratically with little strategy. Despite their intelligence, gorillas are generally peaceful and rarely start fights with other animals. They lack the instinct and strategy to target vital points effectively. Humans need a lot of training to master combat techniques, skills that aren't natural to us. Bears, on the other hand, have natural instincts for fighting, essential for their survival. Grizzlies, while not particularly smart, are skilled fighters, 
good at wrestling and executing lethal moves, skills that gorillas don't have. When comparing gorilla versus leopard, neither gorillas nor grizzlies are invincible. Gorillas, even in their natural habitats, are preyed upon by leopards. Similarly, the Russian brown bear, similar in size to grizzlies, often falls prey to Siberian tigers. This comparison helps us understand the likely outcomes of these encounters. Gorillas, especially the family-leading silverbacks, protect their group vigilantly, often guarding them through the night. Yet, in direct confrontations, their primary threat is the leopard. Despite the size advantage, gorillas often find themselves outmatched by leopards, sometimes resulting in deadly stalemates or defeats. In one rare instance, both a gorilla and a leopard killed each other at the same time. Another report from 1988 describes a gorilla that, after fighting off a leopard, was relentlessly pursued and lived in fear for the rest of the day. But this wasn't the worst part. In some cases, initial attacks by leopards on silverbacks fail, leading to fierce battles. Usually the leopard either wins or retreats. The key difference is in their natural attributes and skills. Gorillas, being herbivores, don't have the same muscle adaptations as carnivores. Their skin, which is tightly bound and less flexible, is more prone to injuries from claws and bites, unlike the more resilient skin of carnivores, which can better handle such attacks. Take the honey badger, for example. It's known for surviving attacks from much bigger predators because of its loose skin. Gorillas don't have this ability, making them easier targets for faster and better equipped predators like leopards. While gorillas can defend themselves and sometimes scare off leopards, they usually lose in direct fights and are naturally wary of larger predators. The way brown bears and Siberian tigers interact shows this even more. Siberian tigers are strong predators that can overpower bears and other big carnivores, highlighting the tough survival rules in the wild. Leopards sometimes beat tigers, but this mostly happens in controlled places like zoos or when facing female tigers. In the wild, bigger and meaner tigers almost always win against leopards, but it's different with brown bears. Bears don't always lose to tigers like gorillas do to leopards, but they still don't win often, with about 20 losses to 12 wins. Tigers usually ambush bears, a common trick among big cats. Bears can win in a direct fight, but it depends a lot on their size and the situation. There are stories that gorillas can beat tigers, which is odd since they don't live in the same place. There's no solid proof for this claim, and it seems unlikely because leopards regularly beat gorillas, let alone a tiger. To make it clearer, a grizzly bear would be a much tougher fight for a gorilla than a leopard. Leopards are smaller, less durable, and not as strong, while grizzlies have a bite force almost double that of a leopard's, are up to 10 times heavier, and are just as aggressive and skilled. Statistically, gorillas don't have much of a chance. Even the gorilla's strong bite is closely matched by the grizzly, which bites with almost full force in fights with other bears. There's also doubt about whether gorillas use their bite effectively in fights. There have been cases where humans survived serious gorilla attacks without dying, unlike what might happen with a grizzly. But this isn't the worst part. Consider a case where a silverback gorilla was killed by a poacher with a spear. There's almost no record of a large grizzly being taken down this way. It's almost unimaginable for someone to kill a grizzly bear alone with a spear. Even today, grizzlies can keep charging after being shot with a shotgun, getting angrier rather than hurt. The supposed strength of gorillas is also questionable and mostly untested, just theoretical. For instance, when comparing the strength of tiger-style martial arts to a real tiger, a playful swipe from a tiger matched the martial artist's hardest hit, although the tiger's full strength wasn't measured. The same goes for bears, whose strength is only estimated based on how they handle large animals or objects like dumpsters. Imagine a bear and a gorilla meeting in a fight. The bear would likely overpower the gorilla quickly, possibly reaching speeds between 35 and 55 miles per hour. As they fight, the gorilla would likely get severely injured, bleed out, and die with relative difficulty, while the bear gets minor wounds. A better match for a grizzly would be a tiger, not a gorilla. Still, it's impressive to remember the rare case of a gorilla gruesomely killing a man, showing their raw power. But historically, while gorillas were hunted for sport, grizzlies were feared as deadly opponents. 
curious how these animal battles might play out in real life. Do you think the grizzly or the gorilla would win? Share your predictions and thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more wild animal facts and debates. Facts and